Hello, my name is Miguel Arnaiz and this is the INTEF course on Digitally Competent Educational Organizations. I will introduce you to several key ideas related to teaching and learning practices enhanced by technology. It is imperative for an institution that wants to be integrated in what we call the digital age to be able to reinterpret the elements of the curriculum and suit them to the needs of the current social, cultural and technological context. If an organization wants to become competent in the digital world we live in, it must rethink, from an institutional point of view, the teaching and learning practices that are suitable for it. The challenge we face is not making partial changes. We have to work on all the elements that make up our educational organization and change it as a whole. Technologies essentially play two important roles that influence the teaching and learning practices carried out in our educational institutions. On one hand, they are part of the tools and the technological environment that the members of our community should exploit. And on the other hand, they help to enhance the teaching strategy that we put into practice. Let us address this issue carefully. First of all, in order for our organization to become digitally competent, the members that make up their organization have to really take advantage of the available technologies and digital media to enhance their teaching and learning environment. This means they should be capable of integrating technology in their everyday life. And this is exactly what being digitally competent means. An individual first and then as an educational professional. The organization should encourage a, a culture of critical technological empowerment among its members. As an educational organization, we have the obligation to promote the use of different digital media which enable all members of the organization, not just teachers and students, to enhance the learning environment. Everyone is encouraged to try the technologies out and not to be scared of them. Also, knowledge and experience exchange through partnerships is actively encouraged, as well as critical thinking. The members of the organization enhance their learning environment. This is related to the promotion of the development of their digital competence. Everyone is involved in the teaching and learning activities, teachers, students, and all of the other members of the educational community. The organization should encourage its members to achieve specific levels of digital competence as established in the ICT competence framework for teachers or in the framework for digitally competent educational organizations. For instance, digital competence should be appreciated, recognized, accredited and certified in all areas of the educational practice. It is of paramount importance that the organization addresses the issue of online safety we have to promote ethically desirable online behaviors and responsibility when it comes to our safety or the safety of other members of the organization or of society in general. The organization also needs to disseminate information on risks and norms for responsible behavior in online environments and reach all the participants of the education activity. We mentioned earlier that technologies help to enhance the possibilities of the teaching strategy that we put into practice in our organization. We know that this enhancement is linked to the implementation of collaborative strategies that maximize the collaborative potential of digital technologies. This is the way to make the most of group work and the best way for the group members to take responsibility for their actions. Authentic, reflecting reality as much as possible enabling knowledge transfer, taking advantage of the reality vision we may have when we open the doors to our classroom with the help of digital technologies. Make more cross-disciplinary actions. They should highlight the relation between wisdoms and knowledge in real life where we put into practice the skills we develop within the organization. Personalized, with the help of the technologies, the participants use in their everyday lives, they develop their strengths and address their weaknesses. Open to the reality of our institution and to the lives of the members of our organization. New experiences will highlight our community's diversity and will open up our work to the community and the classrooms will soak up the outside reality. We need to implement strategies that will put a spotlight on student competencies, on their creativity, and their proactive attitude, and technologies offer a lot of possibilities for doing that. 
but at the same time, they have to develop personal and emotional strategies for all the participants in the learning and teaching activities. Thus, it is necessary to redefine the existing teaching models within our organization and change them to models that meet the requirements we mentioned earlier. In order to do so, we have to involve all the members of our organization. The individuals who will truly implement the changes are those involved in the teaching learning processes. They are the ones who are going to put into practice the community's decision to opt for these types of models. All the participants should feel like they are essential actors and promoters of the outline strategies.